Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to In Toy Reviews and today we're going to be checking out the Our Generation dog, the Yorkshire Terrier Pup and we are going to be comparing it with an American Girl poseable pup as well. So Our Generation just came out with these poseable pups and they are approximately the same size as an American Girl one and you can see that they have the legs that are poseable and move and you can hear them kind of click a little bit. They also come with a collar and a leash already on there and one of the most exciting things about the Our Generation dogs are that they are $9.99 at Target. So that is quite a price difference from the American Girl dogs. I believe that this dog was around $28 and we have a number of the pets. The pets are huge in our house. We have a number of cats. This is one of the cats here. We have this chocolate lab. We have a couple Dalmatians. So I brought a couple of the American Girl ones in to compare them with the Our Generation ones. So we'll start out with the Dalmatian here. So first of all you can see that there's not exact duplication of the different types of Our Generation pups. I got the Yorkshire Terrier. There's a Bulldog, there's a Cocker Spaniel, there is a small little Corgi, and then a Doberman Pinscher, and I think this is supposed to be a Poodle. And they all come with the collars and leashes, so I really like that, that it comes with the accessories. And it also comes with this cute little house that the kids could cover this up and make a little dog house with this cardboard as well. So I'm going to try to open this as neatly as possible here to take this dog out, but you can see that after you get the dog out, you should hopefully, if you don't just rip into it, be able to... You reuse this box part. You could put it back together and then you could reuse the outside. So first things first, I like that this should be reusable. And of course they have it taped on the inside. So we'll try to just get this little pup out without destroying the box because I know I have one child at least that would like to use the box. So after you have the dog out of the box, you can see that this was the only, <laughs> this was the only uh, Yorkshire that my store had and it seemed like its hair was a little bit crazy. So if you look on the back of the box, it looks all real neatly groomed and, you know, not messy at all. So we're going to get a brush and see if we can't get this little guy sorted out a little bit. Because his hair is a little crazy. And I'm not sure if they're all like that because, like I said, this was the only one they had in this style. And the other one that they had was this bulldog. And his hair is short. So his would be kind of more along the lines of this Dalmatian. Where you don't really have to worry about the formation of their hair and that sort of thing. So I brought in the Dalmatian because size wise the chocolate lab was a little bit bigger than the Dalmatian. And then the cat was even smaller than the Dalmatian. So these two are di two different sizes. So we'll move those off to the side. So the Dalmatian and this little Yorkshire Terrier are about the same size. So this one's maybe a little bit over scale from what it would be in real life, but I don't think that they can get it exact scale. And they have the movable limbs that you can hear click there underneath so that you can have the dog pretend like it's walking and you know, like trotting along. And there is a Yorkshire from American Girl, which unfortunately we don't have to be able to compare one to one. But the fur on this is definitely a little bit more uh, problematic than I've seen the other one in, in um, the store. And hopefully this will kind of, I don't know, not get all matted up. So this has a little rubber band around it. So we can take that off and then it's got a long leash that the doll can hold on to and it's got the little Our Generation logo right here and then it clips on to the collar and I really liked that the collars were sparkly. My girls will appreciate that. So for the price, I really feel like these are a great like entry level pet, like especially if you're not really sure how much your child will use the pets for $9.99 versus $28. It's about a third of the cost. And the difference also is is that the American Girl dogs don't come with the collars or anything. You have to buy those separately. So this is really a great deal with it coming with the collar and with the leash. Um, now, I think that their faces, and I, I really try to study all the faces of the different dogs that I've seen at Target. I feel like the little faces aren't quite as cute. So let me see if I can get it to where you guys can see this little guy's face. So just something about the eyes, and I don't really know what that is, but something about the eyes and the nose, you know, is a little bit crooked. But something about the eyes. I just feel like the eyes on the American Girl dogs 
and they're just like a um, kind of shimmery beaded color whereas this one actually has a pupil so maybe that's what that is but something with the eyes I feel like the American Girl dogs are maybe a little bit cuter in the face it's a little bit um, shorter snout and just kind of smaller face in proportion to the body and then tail length would be about the same I would say there's no real big difference in the tails but overall for the price I think that this is a really great value so obviously at American Girl they have everything aged out at 8 plus simply because they try to age things starting at 8 plus just in general unless you're talking about the Welly Wisher line so the age on this little dog package did say 2 and up so I thought that that was interesting because normally they say 3 and up but this one did say 2 and up so they feel like it has parts that are you know okay for even like a two year old to have. I probably, I started my girls with dolls around three, although Natalie was super into dolls and she may have had her first baby when she was like two. So if you have a girl that's really super into dolls like Natalie and they like the pets, this might be a good starter pet for them. I hope that they come out with some different breeds and maybe some cats that have the poseable legs because I think that the kids really like using the poseable legs because it gives you different options. So then like you can pretend like the dog's sitting a little bit more and put their legs down like the dog can sit or you can pretend like the dog's like trotting along and put one leg out in front like that. But I do feel like the articulation on the American Girl, so when you move these, there's just a swish swish down. You don't hear that click click. And so I feel like you can kind of pose the American Girl dolls um, a little easier than you can with the Our Generation. They're just a little bit smoother and they kind of hold their shape a little bit. But all in all, I think that these are a great pet for a starter pet or if you're looking for a specific breed that comes in the Our Generation dog that isn't made by American Girl, I think that this is a great point to start at and I also really love that it comes with the collar and the collar is removable. You can see here it's got a clip that comes off. The collar is removable, so if your child wants to remove it, they can. And I think that they're both cute. Now, I think that my girls would probably use them regardless because they are so into the pets. But now, if your child is really super set on, like, say this Himalayan, Himalayan cat from American Girl, if they're super set on one specific breed, it may not be a one-to-one -one comparison because these are different breeds. But say they just want any pet from American Girl, this Our Generation pup might be a good starting spot to see how much they use it and then they can transition into the other pets as they go along. So we really love all the pets in our house and I'm looking forward to seeing the girls play with this little guy with their with their dolls. They actually have a lot of fun with just the pets on their own. They make a little pet area. So we're planning on getting some of the new Our Generation items, the vet center and the different vet grooming areas and things like that coming up to review those as well. So let me know if you have any questions or any video requests down below. As always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video and also give us a comment as well. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.